Let me now show you how you can test out if your installation is correct by trying to execute the default hello world program. So what I have done is I have created a shortcut for code blocks on my desktop here. So you can actually see the shortcut here. So this is my shortcut. What I am going to do is I am going to double click on this shortcut and let's see what happens next. So once I double click on this particular thing, you will see this particular window open up first and it's telling me it is in code blocks 17.12 version I am using. This is the first screen which will pop up. Once this screen pops up, I will be clicking on something called as create a new project because I'm starting something new. I'm doing my first C program. So I'm going to select create a new project. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click on create a new project. So once I click on create a new project, I will see a window something like this. All right, you're going to see a window like this. What is going to be of interest to me is it's going to be this part here called as the console application. I am going to select console application and then I'm going to click go. So what I'm doing here now is I'm selecting the console application. Then I'm clicking go. You can change this large icons to list but I prefer to keep it by icons because it's easier to select and see. Then I click on go. Once I click on go then my next window shows up something like this. Okay, here what I've required is I have an option to choose the language I'm going to work on. Either it's C or C++. I'm teaching you C. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this selection to C. Once I select C, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the next. Once I click on the next, I'm going to see the next window, something like this. So in this particular window, I'm going to enter just the only column I'm going to fill up is going to be this particular project title. I'm not going to touch anything else. So what I'm going to do here is let me put the project title as first C. Okay, this is my first C program. So I just put first C. Just see here first C dot CBP is the name of the project. It has automatically added. I'm not doing anything here. Then I'll click on next. Here I'm not going to do anything on this screen. I'm just going to leave it as it is. This screen is going to remain as it is. I'm simply going to click on this particular finish button. Now, once I click on this finish button, you're going to see a screen like this. Then once you see a screen like this on the left side, it should be of interest to you. You will see first underscore C. That's the name of your project. Then you will see something called as sources. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the plus sign here. I am going to see main dot C. For this main.c what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on main.c. When I double click on main.c I am going to see this particular thing in my main window. So if you see here this is how my entire screen looks like all right and all right this is how the screen looks and as I keep coming down you can notice that this is the section where you're going to see all the messages being shown to you in this particular section. This particular section is going to show you all the messages. Now you will see most of your messages in this build log section. All right. So once I come back here, what I'm going to do here is I am going to select this button. So this button is really important to see. It is this particular button where you can see it's got a gear symbol, it's got a green run button and it's got a gear come run. This simply stands for build and run. So if I click on that gear symbol with the green, that's the build and run, it is going to compile or build this particular program and show me the output on the screen. So let me do show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to click on this particular build and run. Now what happened is you ended up seeing a output screen. So on the output screen, you will see this particular hello world message. That means you have successfully taken care of the installation and you're able to run the hello world program. Now what I can do is if I want, I can click on this save button to save this particular project, then I can simply say quit.